As a student of the College of Health and Human Sciences, I am amazed by the generosity people and companies show that help enhance the student experience. Here are a few examples of support that are making a big difference on our campus. Tex and Joyce Anderson have invested in the future by creating the Tex Anderson and Family Scholarship Endowment to support future teachers. We started on this scholarship by trying to decide how to do something to be a part of CSU other than just going to the coffees and football games and the fun stuff. We were thinking about how can we give back to the university since they've been such a significant part of our life. And, and when I went to school, I had a scholarship through the four years that I went to school. and. It gave me a feeling that somebody else appreciated the fact that I needed help and the fact that I was capable and it gave me confidence. We thought maybe we could give something immediately so that we could see the impact ourselves. We've never made any major decision that involved finances in our 52 plus years of marriage that we haven't done together and we decided that maybe the best way to do this would develop a scholarship through the form of a, an endowment that would be able to provide some type of a scholarship for students uh, for a long, long time, long after we're gone. We just decided that CSU was a wonderful place to support, and I don't think we'll ever regret it. No, I know we won't regret it, and it's something that we can look back with, with pride that, like I said before, we may have a very, very small part in the continued growth and stature of our college and the university. Here in Aylesworth, Herman Miller and Workplace Resource have invested in the future of our interior design students by helping us update the design lab. So the gift from Workplace Resource and Herman Miller to CSU was important to us because you work hard to find those partnerships where you can learn from each other. The um, D-Lab was really an opportunity to do a learning studio um, research program between Herman Miller, Workplace Resource, and CSU and we worked with the interior design department. So they needed the opportunity to have a flexible space to come together as a group, but also go um, on their own and do their individual projects was really important. You've got students in there who are working who are really gonna be our future in the workplace. And that their opportunity to experience this type of, of work environment is gonna shape the way their future is. As a CSU alumni, I graduated in interior design. I have such great memories of CSU. It was really um, a wonderful experience. I'm very proud to work in the field that I graduated in, and I'm, I'm really proud that that came from CSU. Pat McClem made an investment in the future of food science and human nutrition students. The Medical Nutrition Therapy Lab here in the Gifford Building gives students the experience they need for a successful career. We all have to look for how it is that we're going to help other people. We're going to help other people be successful. We're going to help other people be healthy. We're going to help other people be whatever they can be. Finding a way to give back to the people that have helped me is an important part of my contribution as a professional person. So one of the ways that I can give back is by contributing to the university. And they presented the proposal for the medical nutrition lab to me, and I agreed to put a certain amount of money towards it. One of the things that this medical nutrition lab does is it, I think, will change the perspective of students of what their job will be as nutritionists or dietitians. Hopefully they'll feel like they are one in the long line of people who have chosen this profession because they are the future. They will be the people who will create new treatment modalities and discover new science that will change people's lives. The people who are happiest in life are not focused on their own happiness and what makes them personally happy, but they're focused on trying to find ways to help other people. I certainly was more effective at everything I did because somebody helped me. It's not just paying it forward, it's paying it back. Karen Shirey is investing in the future by naming CSU in her will. Students in the School of Education and those studying historic textiles here at the Avenir Museum will benefit from her gift. My husband passed away 12 years ago and uh, he was a veterinarian and so we have endowed 
money to the veterinary school for a scholarship for a professional veterinary student. And then I have endowed a scholarship to the Department of Education to, for a guidance and counseling graduate student to continue their education. I also have endowed money to the Avenir Museum. Working at the Avenir Museum helped let me work with uh, students. And they're just so many wonderful students. It keeps you young and it keeps your mind active. And we were all poor students. We know what it's like. And if you can help them at all, that's kind of what made me want to give money. And by leaving like this endowment, this scholarship in our memory, we are helping young people get their training to pursue their dreams, to help themselves, to help society, and to help the university. It's incredible. You have helped our college in so many ways. Support for scholarships and facilities. Gifts made today are planned for the future. All have made an impact on student success at Colorado State. You have made a real difference in the lives of students like me. Thank you.